in today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about toning with adjustment layers. The reason I like to use adjustment layers is because as I'm working, I'm able to change the opacity and fill light of each layer to get a desired look. I'm also able to change the different blending modes. I'm mostly going to be talking about not one specific look, but just a broad range of how the tools work and how you can apply them to your own images. So I'm going to start off by using the black and white. And as you can see, it creates a new layer right here. What you're able to do is move the sliders around, and as you move them, you can see how your image is changing. From here on out, if we change the blending mode to, let's say, soft light, you'll see a different tone. If we change the blending mode to overlay, you will see that it's much harsher and more contrasty. You can take some time to go through these blending modes to see what all of them look like. I prefer to use soft light, overlay, or multiply most of the time. So I'm going to click back on soft light because I liked what that looked like. And now I can move my sliders around to make different changes. What I can do now is change the fill on this layer. And as I tone it down, you can see that the effect is lessened. Since this is very subjective, you can play around until you get a look that you like. I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go to my selective color. And in here, we have a drop down menu of all of the colors you can use and adjust. I like to start off with neutrals. In here you will see all of these sliders that you can move from left to right to achieve different effects. Now that I've done my neutrals, I can go to my blacks. I'm happy with my blacks, so I will move on to my reds. Now that I'm happy with my selective color layer, I can change the blending mode. Do soft light. Maybe try multiply. And tone down the fill of that layer. I actually prefer this right on normal how it was. If you toggle this on and off, you can see the amount of difference it has made to just affect the reds, the neutrals, and the blacks. Now that I'm happy with my selective color, I can move on to my curves layer. And when you move this back and forth, you can see the difference it creates. A very popular thing to do is an S-curve. Just upping your highlights and lowering your shadows. This creates a more dramatic, contrasty look. You're also able to change the fill of this layer. You can play around with this until you get a look that you like. You can also affect each different color if you click on the drop down. So if you click on red and you move this around, you can see the difference it makes. Now that I'm happy with my curves, I can keep adding on more selective color layers.
I will go to my magenta. Now that I'm happy with my curves, I can assess the image and see what other changes I would like to make. For me personally, I want to add a little more drama and darkness to this image. To do this, I will probably use the black and white adjustment layer. So I will click on black and white, and I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. As you can see, this effect is very strong. Some of you may like it, some of you may not. I personally think it's a little too strong, so I'm going to tone it down. I'm going to do this by changing my fill or my opacity. You can play around with fill and opacity until you're happy with your result. You can also go back in and change some of these sliders. So at this point, I am happy with my image and the way it looks. So what you want to do is select all of these and drag them into a new folder and rename it to tone. Now you can toggle this layer on and off to see the difference we have created. And if you think something is too strong, you are able to go back in and make any adjustments you'd like. So you can toggle these on and off, kind of see the, the effects they've created. and click on each and either lessen it or make it greater. The purpose of this tutorial was to share some tips and tricks that you can use in your own workflow. I hope I have inspired you to try out some new things and spend some time in Photoshop really playing around with some of the adjustment layers. Since this is very subjective, it's all about what you like and how you make it. I can't wait to see what you guys do.